Hi, I am Taylor Hawkins, and I am at my home studio called Made in the 70s, and I am going to do a demo today. Cool, my name's John Lusto, or Lou, everyone calls me around the studio. And we're over at Taylor's house recording a, a demo through a little mobile rig we put together for him. He sent me and wanted to put a studio in his guest house out back, so uh, this is what we put together. It was fun because Taylor wanted to go 16 channels, you know, instead of 18. He was like, oh, let's go have fun, you know. We had, you have four tracks, and then you get eight tracks, and then we're like, well, let's go full 16, <laughs> which seems, you know, like a lot when we were much younger. Then we went with eight of the 312s, which sound great. We have about four channels of some uh, compression going on, and then we're going into uh, 16 in and out converters, and then we're going out to a little satellite uh, summing mixer that we have going. Taylor generally does the demos, which is great. I've worked with a few guys like this, if you can do it, is they'll either come in and put the drum down first to a click track, or they'll put a scratch guitar to a click track. So today, he came in and put a scratch guitar to a click track. Real rough and loose, quick, and boom, 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 knock it out, just get, get the, the arrangement of the song that he's hearing in his head. Play it all the way through with the scratch. Then we'll uh, then we'll go and do the drums over that, and then we'll generally maybe redo the guitar, put a couple of guitars. We probably won't leave the first guitar track because you want everything to kind of start from the drums, I guess, in, in, in this world. So we'll rebuild the guitars. We'll do some bass, and then then we'll put the vocal on it. Just a really quick multi-track process. Um, which is all, it's really fluid. We set it up uh, really nicely here in his, in his guest house. Actually, what I love back here is it's a home studio vibe. You're still running around and plugging things in. We don't have a patch bay. I gotta kind of get back here and patch some things up or run some headphones out and do that sort of thing. But, it sounds killer. Not that much gear, you can make some really good sounds. We don't have much sound baffling or anything like that. We're not going to use any uh, plugins or anything like that. I really want to just get the sound of Mark's gear and the sound of the room as true as we can.